rock on. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Welcome to Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Um, yeah, we're going to Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Um, we are here talking about a movie. This is the last one for the weekend. However, we are going to have back to back reviews tomorrow and Tuesday also. And Wednesday and Thursday. Like I said, it's going to be a busy week. So, uh, without further ado, let's talk about uh, today's movie. Because movies and TV, it's what we do here. And that movie is called Metal Lords. Metal Lords is streaming now on Netflix. Um, and um, it's a delight. So what's Metal Lords about? And who made it? Well, uh, it's directed by Peter Solette. Who, um, his only previous work that I'm aware of was he did a film about 13 years ago called Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, which is a really underrated team film that I really liked a lot. I had Michael Sarah and Kat Dennings, I believe. Um, and, uh, this film is equal to it, so what's Metal Lords about? Um, Jaden Martell, uh, from Knives Out, Defending Jacob, um, It, what have you, uh, plays... Uh, Kevin, he is a dorky sort of high school student who's best, who's an outcast. His best friend in the world is, um, a fellow by the name of, one second, trying to make sure I credit these, ac these young actors because a lot of them I am unfamiliar with. So let me, Jaden Martell's the only one I know of. Like, it, he's been pretty prolific. Right. His best friend is Hunter. He's played by Adrian Greensmith. Um, he's also uh, formed an unexpected bond with um, a young girl named Emily, played by Isis Hainsworth, who is sort of... has some mental health struggles she's going through. She's a little quick to anger. She's kind of a kind of a quiet, uh, very quiet kind of figure, unless you make her mad. Um... And once you know it, uh, their relationship gets in the way of his friendship with, uh, of his friendship with Hunter, who uh, wants to start a death metal band called Skull, um, which they call Skull Flower, um, while hanging out at a party. Um, uh, they uh, receive a challenge from the seemingly kind-hearted. Um, a fellow uh, sort of lead singer of a school band. Um, who uh, does nothing but Imagine Dragons and Ed Sheeran covers, challenges him to um, a battle of the bands. And uh, they decide to compete, but as their friendship becomes strained um, by their various, you know, differences, will Kevin go with the other band and become their drummer? And um, will Hunter ever figure things out with his dad, Brett Gelman? And will they go on to become metal rock legends? Uh, and will there be some cameos? You know there will be. Will there be some awesome needle drops? Yes, there will be. And will there be charm? Yes, there will be. So, let the, uh, let the hard rock begin. So, Metal Lords is, um, an interesting one. It takes the template of kind of the typical teen film you'd see on Netflix, and infuses it with the culture of metal. Um, this is a film, it's, it's written by D.B. Weiss, who is one of the creators of Game of Thrones, and apparently this is a script he's been trying to get made for a very long time, and you can tell there's passion behind it. The three young leads are all terrific. Um, I, I really dug this flick, and what I liked about it was it kind of is like, you've seen this movie before, like it's very School of Rock, it's very Band Slam, it's very much that kind of thing, just with metal, and I really love that it actually kind of lives up to what it tries to be, like so many of these things, you know, when you think of like, it's like, oh, well, these kids are just posers. They're just, these kids aren't posers. One of the producers of the film is Tom Morello, who also makes a cameo. So there is this element of actual reverence toward, um, especially to War Pigs, which is one of my favorite songs. Um, and once it gets to the climactic battle of the bands, the original song that apparently Tom Morello wrote for the band within this film is really freaking awesome. Like, the song itself is actually kind of like, if it were just a metal song on its own, it would be, like, respected by, like, people in the metal. It's a really, it's a it's a banger. And it's a really freaking good uh, song. 
I like these kids. I like the relationships. I like that it kind of finds a middle ground between these kids who are from different backgrounds, the kids who are more of the sort of sing-songy guys with a guitar, and they don't portray the guy with the guitar character as a douchebag. He's like an actual like human being who is a nice guy and likes uh, Kevin and isn't like like actively bullying him. Now there are bullies in the film, but the characters that are there would be rivals are kind of like respectful, nice dudes. Like you, and they kind of acknowledge that they are. I, it was kind of refreshing. I I I, I enjoyed this film. Um, not much more to say. I really like this one. Um, this is a little little kind of hidden gem on Netflix. This is a good one. It's not anything perfect. It's flawed. I think that it does kind of have. A little less plot than its runtime allows. It's an hour and 40 minutes and it still feels like maybe it's an 80 minute movie kind of worth a plot. But other than that, I did enjoy it and want the ending. It ends on a high note. Um, yeah, I'm going to give, let's just add a close the book there. I'm going to give Metal Lords a four out of five stars. This is a, this is a really good film. Not a perfect film, but I definitely recommend it. This was a lot of fun. Um, all right. And listen, I'm a dork, okay? I'm a dork. I would not be hanging out with these kids, so that's saying something. Um, all right. I, I enjoyed this film. All right. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for um, Navalny. We will be back on Tuesday after um, I get back home from trivia for my review of Father Stew. Next Thursday, we're talking Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, and uh, more to come. And... Oh, and Duel uh, from The Vault. We have a review of Duel, which I have already seen. I saw it at Sundance. We'll talk about it further. Um, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. Oh, shit. Trailer Trash None. Sorry, I almost forgot. Um, was there shawarma? Yeah, there was. There was a scene during the credits. All right. Um, right at the beginning. Um, all right. Yeah, so all the other stuff I just announced, um, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. I see it all. And I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love how class is missed. I love you a few thousand. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what you're supposed to do. Or so I've been told. If you want to find me elsewhere, reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. And, um, and uh, I want to know down below, what did you think of Metal Lords? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Think my opinion's good? Do you think I'm full of shit? Uh, comment below. Let me know. Um, and that'll all be next. Um, and uh, yeah, comment below. Let me know. And until and until we meet again, we were all raised on popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. See you later.